Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. Today I am going to play with some modelling paste. I've seen a bit of a trend of like petal type artwork and I want to have a go. So I've grabbed some colours that I didn't think that uh, ones that I would normally use but I wanted to create some kind of soft pinky uh, coral colour with some cream. Um, so I've got, I've got white, bright peach, coral and magenta and this is the unbleached titanium white. I've grabbed some pearl white which I'm going to paint on the edge of my canvas before I start. Um, I've got some mixing sticks and some push pins for putting in the back just to raise my canvas a little bit and some palette knives. So let's get started. So I've just popped some push pins in the back and that's just to raise my canvas off the ground and I'm going to just give the edge a little bit of colour with some pearl white. I might have just added a little bit too much water to that but I can go back over the, that edge. So that's my pearl. I'm just going to set that aside now and bring down my pots and I'm going to make up five different colours of paste. Okay so I've got my colours here but I'm just going to drop a little bit of a darker tint in this one by adding a bit of Amsterdam magenta. And give that a good mix because I'm not sure how much the paste is going to lighten them I'm gonna go again I just want to make sure I get some depth of color in this all right I think I'm ready to add my modeling paste now so I don't know because I've opened it is it thicker than it was when I first used it okay so I've got my colors mixed up here now and I'm just going to grab a pencil and just lightly do um, just a kind of design of where I want my gradients. So what I'm going to do is like go light to darker and then back to light, but probably not as light as the top. But I don't want to do it like straight down. So I want sort of a gradient through there. Followed. There. And maybe like a curve that way through the bottom. Something like that, I think. And I'm going to use this tool. So in this section here, I'm going to use these two colors and maybe a bit of this one. I'm um, not really sure how I want to load up this palette knife. Whether I want it to um, scoop it out. I feel like I need to practice this. What can I practice on? I've got a piece of card here. Which colour have I got a lot of? Maybe the brightest colour. Let's practice with this. Something like that. Let's put that back in. I'm just going to go for it. What's the worst that can happen? So it looks like my style is going to be kind of squarish. I 
And let's try this colour now. It's like making a cake. Now, I think I'll go diagonal. Oh, but then, then what do I do with the edge? This one has a little bit of extra color in it. So they're very soft, but I'm hoping the overall effect's gonna look cool. I'm going to start introducing the next colour. It's only a very subtle difference. But you can see it there. I hope this works. <laughs> oh. But we're having fun doing it, right? I wonder if I want another cream bit up there. Maybe. Right, I'm going to start introducing another colour. Uh, let's do another cream up here. Have I got enough colours mixed? I do feel like I might want to mix another colour. Mm. Do I want to go like a really bright pink? I did add a fair bit of that in there. That is the question. Let's see how it looks. Right, I don't think I've got enough because I'm only about halfway through. So I'm gonna make up another colour. And I'm gonna use the magenta. Let's see what it looks like straight, otherwise I'll add a little bit of red. No, I might add a little bit of red. Just add a bit of natural red just to make it a little bit different to this other pink. want it really contrasting yeah wow yep beautiful so now I've got six colors here this is really bright I feel like I should have had a slight pink hue in the cream there, uh, but that's all right. I'm glad I introduced this much darker pink. I think that's it for magenta. I haven't got much left of this. So.
these two I found are very similar in colour, so I feel like I might just add just a little bit more colour to this one. So this is probably the colour that that should have been. Just that tiny hint of. Voila! So I did get closer, bunched up as I got towards this edge. I was a bit more spread out at the top. There you go. I'm so glad I added this really bright pink. I think that really helped. I wish I had a little bit through there, but it's okay. I'll bring you in for a close up. So before I show you the wet result, I'm just show you, I added these two colors. So that's the um, Napsol Red Deep and the uh, Primary Magenta um, to get that extra dark color, which I think without it, it really would be a little bit flat and I probably would have been disappointed but adding that really makes it pop so it's ended up really pretty if I turn off one of these lights too we might get to see some shadow created by the texture oh wow check that out that is cool so the only thing that I would probably think is maybe the texture is a little bit soft but, but when I turn that light out it doesn't look soft at all um, yeah so I might look at getting some different modeling pastes to try as well but yeah I'm really happy with that and I hope you enjoyed it I will show you when it's dry I reckon it's probably gonna take I'm gonna need to leave it at least a day to dry so yeah I'll bring you back for the dry result Okay, here is the dry result and um, you can see in a few spots, can you see just there that little sparkle? That's where the paint hasn't mixed through the paste properly. I haven't mixed it properly. There's another one just there. And um, yeah, it's left a bit of the sort of metallic look of the paint. So... I'm actually considering going in with a paintbrush and just doing an occasional sparkle petal. Um, but before I do, I just want to show you it dry and the shadows. And it's quite pastel. And um, it, if you have a look here, um, you know it's it's not it's got a little bit of flexibility from the actual paint anyway I'm gonna put the time lapse on I'm gonna have a go at doing a few little highlights and then we'll have a look at it dry Okay, here it is with a little bit of shine. Just in a few spots. And I think that makes it kind of pretty. So, <laughs> yeah. I especially like this pink here. Look at that. So yeah. That's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like me experimenting and having a go at different things. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.